Right, Table Mountain today. Going up the normal route. Supposedly takes two and a half hours. We didn't go from the Camps Bay route because apparently it's longer. And hopefully we'll see really good views of Cape Town. Let's get it going. Starts off with... Is everything that steep? The whole, I've never done this, so I have no idea. Up there somewhere. Been told to bring a lot of water. And then I think we'll get the cable car down because walking downhill is not fun. Oh, and another thing is that you want to do it relatively early because the wind picks up in the afternoon and it might be covered in cloud and plus apparently it can get quite cold at the top so bring a jacket Ooh. Ten minutes in, already drenched in sweat. <laughs> Sweaty, isn't it? Tiny little bit. Bring water. Probably set off earlier than 11:30. That's nice. It's essentially just a massive stairmaster. It's just stairs yeah. the whole way. It's not even stairs. It's rocks. It's just rocks, rocks, rock and roll. <laughs> good views though. Very good views. Right, let's hit it. Pretty amazing that someone set all of these stones. I mean, obviously not someone, a team of people, but you can't get any machinery up here. They've just made thousands of steps. It's very good. God knows how they did it because some of these stones look incredibly heavy. Or maybe they're just taking it from the from the hillside. You guys are definitely like my face from one to twenty. I don't know, you're like a damn mountain goat. I am. You got oh my yeah, it's very red. <laughs> Doesn't look red on the camera, but it is. Final push up the ridge. Is it the final? Yeah, I'm gonna stay. I'm going. Huh? I'm gonna keep on going. <laughs> clouds coming in. Need to make sure we can beat those clouds. We are going unnecessarily quickly. Yeah. In one hour now, we do my job. Yeah. It usually takes it to 10. Yeah. yeah. Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, my pace is quick, boy. You are ridiculous. Sixty-five minutes to the top. Now to look over Camps Bay and the Southern Ocean. 
I guess it is. Here we go. Wait a second, do we know where we're going? This is Dave Mountain. Yeah, let's go and sit on those rocks up there. There must be, oh no, that's the top. Up there. Let's go. It's another, this feels like snake territory. Up at the top, let's call it 69 minutes. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I think we were the only ones that went up quickly because nobody else is as sweaty as we are. <laughs> Either they are. Uh, that guy before who told me. Olympic athletes. Yeah, I asked him, it's like, is that the top? He's like, yeah. It's like, it took me two hours. Like, oh, it took me one. <laughs> so proud of yourself. Yeah, I am. Look what it's yeah. done though. Look at the price we paid. <laughs> <laughs> Very peaceful and I want those clouds come over. It's apparently when the clouds come over. It uh, looks like water coming off cliffs, which I saw in Norway once, and it was very nice. So that talks about the different, I guess the cape splits the different currents. So you have the, the Benguela current from the Antarctic, and then the warm Agulas stream down from the east coast from the tropics. Nice. And this is the view. It's very cool, and then you can go over there and see the Cape Town side. I think we'll just relax here for a bit and cool off. This is a nice view. Is it? Yeah. See if we can see the other side of the Table Mountain, look over the city centre. So that's lion's head there. You can also climb that, it takes about an hour and a half, so I think we're going to do that in a couple of days actually. You've got lion's head and then you've got Signal Hill, so Signal Hill supposedly is a really nice spot for sunset. I think that's Devil's Peak, which you can also do. Because of the water challenges faced by Cape Town, they're trying to see if this area, because often it's just full of fog, see if they can have like a fog capturing plant here to convert it into water, which is really cool. There's multiple routes around here. Um, I don't know if they 
give you like a better view of things. I presume not, but just give it a quick go. I guess somewhere around here is that place where people take pictures either on the edge of a cliff or pretending to be on the edge of a cliff. I can't be bothered to take a picture like that, so. But if you want to do it, be my guest. I think, I think it's one of those ones over there. It's a decent sized drop down there. I'd love to put the drone up, but I think we're too close to the airport. And it's very peaceful up here, so I don't want to be one of those guys that ruins everything with just a bzzz. But you could get some really good shots. Right, and so logistics for the cable car, it was 210 rands to get down, which is, what, 11 pounds? 13, 14 dollars, I don't know. I'll put it somewhere here. It's 390 for a return, but after 1 p.m. it's 320. They do that because it's more risky in the afternoon. You might not get a better view. So probably worth paying the 390 to go earlier in the morning. Let's get some thoughts. Worth it? Yeah. How eloquent of you. Absolutely. Some more description. Gigantic. Gigantic? <laughs> Gigantic. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you have to do it. do it. It's actually a bit harder on the legs than I thought it would be. But. It's mountain climbing. Do it. Cool. Mega cool. Bye bye. <laughs>